eight assists in the Colgate game. He now leads the conference. Inbound play to Evan Kelly. And Kelly with the good end. No shot clock violation. They said that it hit the side of the rim. Pioneers in transition, Evan Kelly. The finish on the feed from Kane Broom. Falzone didn't get rid of the ball. Falzone was open there and they missed him. Allen banks it in and he makes up for that missed layup with a pointer of the year. Holy Cross with the answer from Justin Burrell. Glowiak in is going to be called. To Tremendous Bob Cousy statue up there in Worcester right outside their arena. Foul zone underneath from Phil Gaetano. Another great feed from Gaetano. You can't do it. You have to be disciplined, and it's so hard to teach, but you have to be or else you get an easy bucket. But Kane Broom gets a difficult bucket to offset it. The Kane Broom. Jordan Allen on the wing. Kick out, Glowiak, corner, Broom for three. No, but Barnett grabs the board and throws it down. Get a last shot off, down to 10 to shoot. Glowiak for three. Steve Glowiak opens up a 13. On the second half for Sacred Heart. Gaetano, the look inside for Barnett. The dump down low for Broom. The reverse and one. Kane Broom. And he asks for the referee to ask if he's all right. Kane Broom, another take. High off the window and going. Here's as everyone gets a touch. Broom throwing up the lob. Davon Barnett, alley-oop. As Broom and Barnett connect. Them to slow the pace and take care of the basketball. Now Barnett underneath from Falzone. To the offensive end and hopefully force a poor shot. Falzone walked, got away with it, and put it in. I think he thought about trying to take one to the hole. but and How about Glowiak underneath from Gaetano? 12.20 to go, second half. The Pioneers by 12. And Alexander turned it over. Evan Kelly all the way for the... Easy lay-in. Broom from downtown has 20 points. Kane Broom. Jordan Allen on the floor. Kane Broom on the baseline. Kick out. Kelly a three. Got it. Evan Kelly. For Thanks a lot, Randy. Here with Kane Broom, the game's leading scorer. And Kane, two nights in a row now for you. You've set different career highs, 21 at Colgate, 23 here at home. What's working for you? Uh, just uh, in the beginning, I was settling. Like, I was settling for uh, jump shots. Now, I, I talked to the coach, and he wanted me to be more aggressive, like getting to the hoop. So every game, I've been starting off getting to the hoop, and I got my shot going and everything else. So Ter it's working. Terrific. And you come in playing a Holy Cross team that has beaten Harvard, a ranked opponent, in their season opener, they've played tremendous defense. They've been out rebounding opponents, forcing a lot of steals. What did you guys come in in terms of a mindset today to, to be able to offset that? Well, uh, me and Phil talked to coach, and he just said, uh, you got to send one guy back every time. When they trap it, you send one guy back, and throw it ahead, you get layups every time. So that was working for us the whole game. All right, terrific. We'll have Coach Latina in just a moment. Congrats to Kane Broom and the Pioneers above 500 and their second consecutive win and second win at home beating a record that they only had won last year. Randy? Thank you very much, Rob. And just in case, Thanks, lest we forget about Philip Nowitzki, he makes his second straight trip on the post-game show with the <laughs> post-game photo bomb from Flip. Yeah, right. Anthony Latina is now standing by with Rob Coloni, and we'll send it right back to Rob with the head coach of the Pioneers. Thanks a lot, Randy. Here with Coach Latina. Coach, congratulations. A second consecutive victory. This one in convincing fashion. Something I have to talk to you about that was obvious in the first half and just really sealed your victory in the second half, at least as far as I'm concerned. Your hedging and your bellying up was terrific on defense. You were able to get out and defend that perimeter shot, and they couldn't even touch the rim from beyond the arc. Talk about that. One of the things that we've been pretty consistent with is our defense. Minus the Ohio State game, our defense has been, has been very consistent. And, and I told our guys, Steve, keep, keep being patient with the offense will come. Because our offense isn't pretty right now, but it'll come. And they pressured us. So they helped us a little bit with their pressure because we got some easy baskets against in transition. But our defense has to be a constant for us, and it has been. We held a very good team, well under 40%. So I'm really, really proud of the guys for that defensive effort. They followed the game plan very disciplined. Absolutely. And you lose 
some kind of an element, at least in the first half, with Evan Kelly, a perennial leading scorer for you guys. But you get contributions from gentlemen like Jordan Allen and Kane Broom. Talk about what they've been able to do as of late in the last two games specifically. Well, I think one of our strengths as a team is we have uh, several different guys that can step up and have a big night offensively. Now, we didn't show that early in the season, but we have a guy like Davon who was, could score points. Kane could score points. Steve Glowiak. Obviously, Evan is an obvious one. Jordan. So when you have a lot of different guys that can contribute, if one or two guys are having an off night, we can still be successful. So I think that's the strength of our team is that we have several different guys that can step up. I'm so proud of the defensive effort. We really, really wanted to make a statement defensively, and I think we did. And we're starting to develop a, a very positive pattern of we defend every game. Now, we might not be so pretty offensively, but we defend. And when we did that tonight, and I was real pleased with that, and we rebounded tonight, which we did not do against Colgate. Out rebounding, Holy Cross, great defense, leads to this Pioneer's second consecutive win. Congrats to Coach Latina and his boys. They'll be back in action in just a few days. Randy, back to you to close it out here from the Pitt Center. Thanks.